Hi YouTube. Um, just got this boat. The boat came with this uh, 1956 CD13 Johnson motor, and uh, I'm gonna make a project out of it, restore it, and I thought I'll, I'll record it for any anybody else planning on doing it. I'm a newbie. I've never done this before. I am not a mechanic, uh, so this is almost like a, a pretty cool adventure. Uh, full disclaimer: so I'm not an expert. Uh, leave your comments if you have any any suggestions uh, but anyways so for what I've read so there's a bunch of literature out, literature out there that I'm gonna put some links um, but uh, the first thing that we have to do is check compression right we want to make sure that the motor has enough compression uh, some people some places it says over 100 psi but uh, basically for what I understand as long as you have around 60 and less than five uh, difference between the top cylinder top and bottom cylinders you should be okay so we're gonna do that first um, uh, I was gonna buy a compression meter however um, a compression tester however when I went to AutoZone I realized that they they actually lease them so you can go you can leave a deposit uh, they, you know, lend it to you, you use it and you return it and you get a full refund so if you don't plan to do this a lot of times like I certainly don't uh, you can just use it and, and take it back it's definitely save some money all right so first thing we're gonna do is open it there's a couple of latches on the sides open the motor like this and you have access to the both cylinders the spark plugs carburetor and uh, you know the whole deal in this case uh, again we're gonna check Pressure. I'm going to start with the top one, top spark plug, unplug. You may want to, you definitely want to uh, check your top and bottom ones. You don't want to mess it up. In this case, there's a little uh, mark on the coil, uh, but just in case, you know, make sure that that's accurate. You don't want to, you know, mess it up. All right, so once you get that, you know, wrench. One of the things that I did is definitely do a little visual inspection on this. If you see this one, you can actually tell that there's some spark going on. Uh, we're gonna check that as well. But for the time being, we're just gonna do and use our compression kits. Tie that one in. Well, definitely not too tight, but you want a little, a nice seal there. After that, you take your compression tester and you screw it in there. Okay, we're gonna go in. There you go. Okay, and seal. I want to make sure it's zero. So here we go. So now I'm gonna pull four or five times on the flywheel to see how it goes. Getting 55. Right now I'm going to do a couple of extra pulls just to make sure that I'm getting most out of it. And a little bit over 55, less than 60. All right, let's see if you can. Now we're gonna check the bottom one. For that, we're gonna take the air off with this little button and take it off. No. Nope. All right, this is off. Tight. 
And take the bottom. This one, if you see there's a little, a little bit more oil, it's a little bit more shiny. So I suspect that there's less of a spark here and we're gonna see that in another video. I'm gonna just break this up in several videos so you can you know, just look at, see what you are after and you know, the whole thing. So same process. In this case, I'm gonna take the phone so you can see what it looks like. It's a little bit of bad luck back lights. Okay, this is kind of complicated holding it with one hand, so I'm gonna go back to my original. So same drill, it was tied with this. Two rows. Same thing, I'm going to pull a couple of times. And we have 60. So definitely within range of what we are looking for. It means the whole motor is in pretty good shape. We should be able to make it run. All right, so that's how you can check compression. Uh, the next video we're going to see how we're going to do a uh, spark test and uh, let's see what else we can find on this. Have a good one.